In this video, we are going to integrate reCAPTCHA version 2 in Contact Form 7. Let me show you how this Google reCAPTCHA will protect our contact form from spammers. Here, every single time when someone will try to send a message using our contact form, then the sender needs to pass this reCAPTCHA verification after clicking this checkbox. Without clicking on the reCAPTCHA checkbox, the sender will not be able to send a message and will get an error like this. Once the sender passed the reCAPTCHA verification then the message will be sent successfully. If Google reCAPTCHA sends any suspicious activity, then an image puzzle will appear, and the sender needs to solve that puzzle in order to send a message. Now, let's see, how we can set up reCAPTCHA version 2 inside our contact form 7. To do so, head over to the WordPress dashboard, and hover over the contact tab, and then click on the integration. Now scroll down to the bottom side, you will get an option to set up reCAPTCHA integration. Here, click on the setup integration. Now here, you need to enter the site key and the secret key. To get the site key and secret key, open a new browser window, then visit the Google reCAPTCHA link given in the description. On this page, click on the admin console link. If you logged in already, then this page will appear directly, if not logged in, then you will be asked to log in, and after login, you will be redirected to the same page. Here on the top, you need to enter any label for your reCAPTCHA, so that you can identify it easily. Now with the help of this option, you can select the reCAPTCHA version. Recapture version 3 will verify the authenticity of the user with the help of some short of the scoring mechanism without the need for user interaction. In other words, users do not need to do anything in order to verify that they are not robots. The Recapture version 3 will verify this automatically in the background. In the Recapture version 2, you will get three categories. The first one is the I'm not a robot checkbox. In this category, users need to click a checkbox indicating the user is not a robot. This will either pass the user immediately or challenge them to validate whether or not they are human. The second one is the invisible reCAPTCHA badge. The invisible reCAPTCHA badge does not require the user to click on a checkbox, instead it is invoked directly when the user clicks on an existing button on your site or can be invoked via a JavaScript API call. The integration requires a JavaScript callback when reCAPTCHA verification is complete. By default, only the most suspicious traffic will be prompted to solve a CAPTCHA. The third one is the reCAPTCHA for Android. This category is solely made for Android apps. Currently, we are going to integrate the reCAPTCHA inside a web application so we will be using the I'm not a robot checkbox reCAPTCHA version 2. Now here, you need to add your top label domain where you are going to use reCAPTCHA. You can add more than one domain. We will be using this reCAPTCHA inside our localhost website, so I need to add localhost and an IP address for the same, just like this. Here you can add more than one owner by entering an email address. You need to accept the reCAPTCHA terms of service, so make sure to tick this checkbox. At the bottom, Make sure to send alerts to the owner's checkbox is ticked. In the end, just click on the submit button. Now here, you can see, we have successfully generated the reCAPTCHA site key and the secret key. Copy both keys separately. By the way, if you forget to copy these keys, then you need to log in. After login this page will be open. Now here, if you have more than one reCAPTCHA then select the same from this drop-down. Here on the left side, click on the gear icon. From here you can edit your existing reCAPTCHA settings, and after clicking on this option, you can easily see the site key and secret key. From here you can even delete the reCAPTCHA. Before we proceed further, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Now, head over to the WordPress admin dashboard, and hover over the contact tab, and then click on the integration. Now scroll down to the bottom side, you will get an option to set up reCAPTCHA integration. Here, click on the setup integration. 
Now here, paste the copied recapture keys in their respective fields. Now save the changes. Now, click on the Contact Forms tab. Here you will get the list of all contact forms you have created on your website. Edit the same form in which you want to set up recapture. You can place the recapture badge anywhere in your contact form, but my recommendation is that place the recapture badge just above the submit button. Here is the div of submit button of my contact form. Let's create a div for the recapture tag. Now, let's place the recapture tag inside this div. In the end, just save the changes. Now let's see if recapture is working or not. Unfortunately, the recapture version 2 is not showing inside our contact form. The reason is not that we have done something wrong, but from onward contact form 7 version 5.1, Recapture version 2 support officially dropped. The good thing is that we can still use Recapture version 2 inside the Contact Form 7 with the help of an additional plugin called Recapture V2 for Contact Form 7. To install the required plugin, head over to the WordPress admin dashboard and hover over the plugin tab and then click on Add New. Now type Recapture V2 for Contact Form 7 inside the search field. You will get a result of the same plugin, just install and activate the plugin. Once the required plugin gets activated, then click on the Recapture version under the Contact tab. From here, select the Recapture Usage version from the drop down, make sure to select Recapture version 2. Now, here, select the Recapture source. We are using Google Recapture, so we need to select google.com from the drop-down. In the end, just click on the Submit button. Now let's check if Recapture version 2 is showing or not in our contact form. Here you can see, we have successfully integrated Recapture version 2 in our contact form 7. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates and make sure to check out end screen video playlist of contact form tutorials. Guys, what will be the topic of our next video, let me know in the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.